about is the recognition that Jesus is what we need. And Jesus is actually the only one that we need. There is nothing else that can satisfy. There is nothing else that can answer. It is him and him alone. This is not about a set of do's and don'ts. This is about a real person, a real man, who has a real heart and real affection and real emotions, and he's passionate for you. And he loves you so, so much. And he's just saying, let me in, let me in, let me in. CJ's actually been to the conference. CJ's been to this conference more than anybody. So, CJ, why don't you share what, uh, what's on your heart about the conference? I've been to Desperation for the past three, three years. years. And going into it, it's a little bit different because there's like 5,000 teenagers uh, that are just dancing around and jumping around and uh, really just having having fun and being in the presence of the Lord and uh, so going into it, it's a little bit different and weird, and kind of seeing the video might scare you a little bit. Uh, but just being able to experience the Lord and uh, just being with, honestly, being with 5,000 teenagers, just worshiping God and pursuing his character and uh, being able to listen to the, the speakers that they bring in is is life-changing. And um, if if you'll put into, put into the conference uh, effort and if you want to be there and you take notes and uh, you're able to uh, pay attention, and uh, you'll re you'll get a lot out of it. And there's um, there's just just such a sweet presence of the of the Holy Spirit down there, and um, He'll really change your life if you want Him to. All right. So last year was my first year to go because I go to Trinity, and it was our first year. And kind of like CJ was saying, you go in and you're kind of like, is this going to be good or is it going to be more like a concert, kind of like a, I, am I going to get anything out of it? Because there are a ton of people. And when you're worshiping, we all go to the floor and it's just like this big concert. And so at first you're skeptical and you're like, is this really worship or is this more like concert, just goof around, have fun. But you get into it and they bring in worship leaders. Last year they had Bethel. They had the people who wrote Deep Cries Out. And it's just awesome because you get to see them sing their songs and you get to get into it in your own way, and you just get to see other people worshiping, and they're worshiping in their way, and you just get to worship with all you have, and it's just an eye-opening experience, and it's really freeing because you feel like you can worship without being judged, and you can do what you need to do. You can get on your knees. You can raise your hands. You can cry. You can laugh. You can just party, and it's just fun, and it's really freeing. So, yeah. 
Okay, so last year was also my first year at Desperation, and like Sydney was saying, the worship was just absolutely amazing, you know. We have all these um, band groups like Bethel, and um, they were just amazing, but then there was also like Andy Minio, so we also had like fun, you know, jumping around and stuff, and Andy Minio was pretty fun. And just being there with like a bunch of people was just amazing. And um, I don't know, big groups kind of like make me uncomfortable, but being with these people, you know, racing towards like a common goal, which is um, to like praise God, was just amazing. And so being there with um, my church, Faith Christian Family Church, um, it was a lot of fun being with like SJ and everybody, so. Okay, so I'm also talking about the worship, which is a common theme, but it's seriously so incredible. And one of my favorite things was the Bethel group that came in. It was just two artists that are connected with Bethel. And it's Stephanie Gretzinger and then someone else, William Matthews. And um, one of the things that I loved was just how raw it was and just how it wasn't a performance. They were literally just um, singing to the Lord. And one of the things that Stephanie Gretzinger does is she just takes her shoes off in the presence of the Lord and just sits holy ground. And I thought that was incredible, just getting to see how... Like I said, just how raw it was, and it wasn't um, performed, it wasn't rehearsed, it was just them worshiping the Lord, and then just getting to hear all the speakers, and um, just how passionate they are, because I've never been to a conference like this before, it was my first year as well, and um, every youth camp that I've been to was just, I don't know, just kind of cheesy, and you're like, well, this is great, <laughs> but getting to see um, the speakers and just how passionate they were was incredible and that it wasn't a forced passion. It was a genuine um, praising the Lord while they're speaking, and it wasn't them speaking. It was the Holy Spirit through them, so it was really neat. Yeah, uh, definitely what SJ said. All the summer camps I've been to before are, like, super cheesy. Like, I vividly remember going to one youth camp, and they – they're like, all right, we're going to go outside and play Tower Points. And I was like, what are Tower Points? This is terrible. And so this guy goes out and, like, stands on this huge tower. And he's like, all right, impress me, and I'll give you points. And I was like, this is just a disaster. <laughs> and so, like, this team of kids runs over to a bus, and there's, like, 50 of them. And they start picking up the bus. And the guy's just letting it happen. He's like, Tower Points. And I was like, this is horrible. This is not, where's Jesus and picking up a bus? But... So then, yeah, definitely didn't go back to that camp. That was terrible. And so, <laughs> yeah, after that, I was pretty discouraged to go to any more youth camps. But then somehow I got suckered into going to desperation. I did. Sarah and JD suckered me into it. And so, uh, but it was really good. And uh, I think what's key is that it's a conference and not a camp. And so you're literally in sessions all day and... Like, you'll go to a session, get a 15-minute break, go to another session, go to lunch, go to another session, go to dinner, go to another session, kind of watch Andy Mineo lose his cool on stage, which is all right, and then, you know, go home and do it all over again. And so it's not, like, it's definitely a super maturing experience because you're not playing games. There's no college students yelling at you to have fun, which is fantastic because I don't enjoy that. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's like a really good experience, and you'll, it's, I can say for me, it was something that definitely changed my life, and I don't say that a lot about camps, because most camps are just, you know, buses and teenagers and tower points. Okay, thanks, Gus. I'll give him a big hand. I, I think that they uh, pretty much said it all as far as uh, the fact that it's not camp, uh, a few years ago when they went, they took, our church took the junior high kids, which they don't do anymore, and uh, about the, the day and a half in, this boy goes, when are we going to play games? He's a little sixth grade, uh, actually, little nerd kid. But anyway, uh, there are no, it's not camp. Uh, it's a conference for those who really want to grow in their relationship with the Lord. Last year, the speakers included uh, John and Lisa Bevere, uh, and uh you, the worship is awesome. So um, if you are, I'm going to show you guys a promo video at this point, and then I'll tell you one more thing. Just 
Inspiration began as a prayer movement in 2002, and to this day there are teenagers and 20-somethings and now even 30-somethings that will talk about encountering God in a supernatural way when they were a teenager. In fact, even recently I've heard stories about young people that talk about their hunger for God to work in their local church now in their 30s because they saw God do so many powerful things in their teenage years as they would spend time alone with Jesus every day, start a prayer meeting on their campus, or sometimes even turn their closet into a prayer room. We're believing for a mighty move of God in this generation, and desperation is young people gathering in mass to worship and pray and commit their lives to Jesus. Second Samuel, David, a leader in Israel, David's life was filled with moments of David making intentional decisions, saying, God, more than anything, I want your presence. As a generation, we are calling you to join us in walking out this theme of saying to Jesus, you know what? God, no price is too great. No ask is too big. We will be ones who carry your presence more than we want anything else in this world. We want to carry the presence of God in all that we say, in all that we do. And I'm just here to prophesy to every single one of you and tell you your generation was not built, destined, or purposed to live normal Christianity, normal church as usual. It will not work. Jesus revealed himself to me, and I didn't ask anybody else. I don't care what anybody else says. I am going after the things of God. I'm not going to stop. Will you join us this year for Desperation Conference as we say to the Lord, we will carry it. Okay, if this sounds like something that you guys would like to do, I've, uh, we can, you guys can go with either the Trinity Church group or you can go with the Faith Christian Family Church group. Actually, Sarah's back there now. Hi, Sarah. Everybody look and wave at Sarah. Um, you guys can go with Sarah. Actually, Sarah's, with Sarah's group, they're going to leave on Monday. Is that right? They're going to leave on Tuesday, and they're going to actually uh, add a day or day and a half to what they're doing to do some extra stuff there in Colorado to make it a little bit more uh, camp-like uh, and then go straight to the conference after that. So, um, but I did talk with Jimmy Lucero yesterday and he's happy for you guys to come with him as well. Um, you guys need to make a decision to do that quickly though. You guys are filling up quickly. Jimmy said he's filling up quickly. Yeah, 33 spots left on their trip. And, um, but uh, if you wanna do this, uh, what did y'all cost? Two twenty-five is the early bird with them. Uh, Jimmy said that their cost is he is not quite finalized yet, but he thought it was going to be close to two eighty. So uh, it sounds like it would be cheaper for you to go with Sarah and her bunch, but they're going to probably fill up really quickly. So um, it's going to be a great three-day conference. It'll be life-changing. And uh, you guys need to definitely pray and ask the Lord if it's something that, uh, that he wants you to do this summer. Okay, part of the reason I showed this to you is that uh, Desperation Band is going to be coming to Lubbock this weekend. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a quick promo video for this. If you guys are not familiar with Desperation Band, everyone knows the song Overcome, right? We sing it here lots. Uh, I'm not going to sing it for you now because... You guys would be laughing. Uh, but Overcome came from New Life Church in Colorado and Desperation Band. So let's go ahead and show this promo video real quick. Hi, 
I am Dan with Desperation, and I am so excited. This April, our Knights of Desperation Texas tour. Uh, it's one of my favorite things that we do. We load up in vans with our DLA students, these young people passionate for Jesus. John Egan and the Desperation Band will be leading us in extended worship. I'll be sharing a little bit. And then we are going to pray together. We're just believing for God to move in your city, in your church, in your life. We're seeing all over the country that God is raising up young people that are passionate for Jesus and advancing his kingdom. I want to invite you to come be a part of this night, Night of Desperation, this April. People keep telling you, you need to just find who you are, find yourself, but you need to first find who God is, and He will tell you who you are. Okay, and that's going to be this Saturday night at 7 p.m. over at Faith Christian Family Church. It's 58th in Memphis. Um, and it's going to be really, really great. Uh, if you guys want, if you're hungry for a great night of worship and prayer, uh, Saturday night, you guys are going to get an opportunity to do that. Um, okay, so for the last little bit of time that we have today, um, I've got a video from Desperation's newest album. It's called Banner, and uh, the song is, is uh, led by uh, Carrie Job. This was recorded two years ago at the Desperation Conference. Um, if you guys would like to stay seated and watch this, you can. If you feel like standing and worshiping with her, you can do that as well. Uh, and then when this is over, the bell should ring and we'll head to class. Okay?
Jesus, we thank you that you are on the throne. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you would be on the throne of our hearts. Let our lives reflect your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, we've got to pick up chairs, so if you guys could please leave the last five rows.